Louisiana, Larry Latham. And from Memphis, Tennessee, Wayne Ferris. Going against him on the right of your screen, total weight 423 pounds. From South Wales, Great Britain, Tony Charles, his partner from Lexington, Tennessee, Tommy Gilbert, Jr. This match, one fall, 15-minute time limit. Referee is Paul Morton. And the team of Latham and Ferris pulling off their capes and their shades and... Latham is going to be starting and across the ring. Let's see whether it'll be veteran Tony Charles. Yeah, Tony is going to get off and run it with a opener. Cow time and we're to Tony Charles. He's got to learn. Yep, that's right. Tony takes it over and turns it over to the young guy. Drops down with a lower leg on Wayne Ferris. Springs it. He learns. Something. Yes, he did. Hooks that leg up, moves in on him. Gotta watch yourself here. That other leg can kick you right in the mouth before you know what's happening. He grabbed tights that time, and look at that. Young Tommy, eager boy, if nothing else, he really will stay on top of you. He went for him and kept him from getting to the corner. Tags Tony. And Charles back to fell out right there. Tags Tommy Gilbert Jr. Tommy. He had it on him. Once again, Ferris tried to get away and go to the corner by using the tights. Young Tommy just stayed right after him. Now Ferris goes for the hair. Latham came through, couldn't have gotten the tag if he had to. But he's back to the corner, and that's going to be a tag on the fresher man, Latham. Nice single leg dive. Young Tommy really goes after it. Boy, he's in great shape, and he is eager, eager, eager. That couple with inexperience will sometimes get you in a little bit of trouble. Latham grabs him, manhandles him out, but look at him just stay right after that leg. Talk about that proverbial bulldog stand on your pants leg. That's what Tommy Jr. is doing right now. He, he is just indeed. won't give up. He's hanging in there. We're uh, six, almost six and a half minutes into a one-fall 15-minute time limit match. Six and a half minutes down the pike, and we still have nine and a half minutes to go. No, let's make it eight and a half minutes to go. <laughs> young Tommy, stand on it. Tony, uh, very pleased with the way the young fella is just staying right after Latham. He's uh, made a mistake or two in here, but he covers up for him by that eagerness, man. He just is very very determined. He's going to be a good one. With that single leg dive again, he takes him over and down. Picks it right up. Drops with a lower leg. Latham working his way back toward the corner. Tags Ferris. Woo! Ferris, he didn't break quick enough. Mm -hmm. Ferris got him from behind. That's, uh, that's where the inexperience you were talking about came in. And Ferris really unloaded on him. He's taking advantage of it, too. And Ferris, uh, who picked up a lot of experience himself on his Gulf Coast and Bahamas tour, hanging with that reverse face lock very hard on young Tommy. He's out in the center of the ring. He's hanging in there, but Ferris really applying a pressure on him. Referee checking to be sure that that arm is up on the chin. Satisfied that it is, apparently. And he takes Ferris over. Good move, but he can't get to the corner. Ferris really waylaid him. Caught him with an uppercut on his forearm. Slams him into Latham. Turns it over to Larry. Eight minutes gone, seven minutes left to wrestle. At the eight-minute mark, Tommy Jr. in trouble, and he is being held over near the Latham Ferris corner. Latham surfboards his arms back, plants that head in the middle, squeezing to take the strength out of him. Now with his knee down there, Tommy Jr. hanging in there. Latham. Double clothesline on Tommy Jr., but our time is running down to the wire. 30 seconds. Ferris back in. Tony's knee is hurt. And they're double teaming 
Tommy Jr. and Tony hurt his knee. He may have hit that strut that stuck out. It fell out earlier. And Tony may have hit it right on the kneecap when Ferris pulled the rope down. 10 seconds. We're only 10 seconds away. As Tommy Jr. and they're taking the punishment. Here comes, here comes his dad. Well, the time had run out. The referee signaled for the bell to be rung, but I think the time had already rung out, and out of there they go. I just qualified Tony Charles and Tony Gibbert for outside interference. Well. Okay, that's the decision from referee uh, Paul Morton. There is one of those situations, Dave, where I think it was in the process where I was just getting ready to ring the bell on it where the time might have been out. So. I think Tommy hit the ring just about two seconds before the uh, time limit would have expired anyway. So. But Tommy Gilbert in there to... Uh, when his uh, son caught in between Ferris and Latham, and they were really working him over. Tony, as Ferris pulled that down, I don't know, it very well could have been the ring support that was knocked down earlier is sticking out about a foot and a half below the ring. And when Tony flipped out of that ring, his knee may very well have come right down on that ring support. And uh, Tony was unable to get back in the ring.